So, you want to play Minecraft with shaders, and you don't know how to do it. I'm here to explain how. It's quite a simple process. It won't take too long, and it should be easy. The first thing you're going to want to do is download Curse Forge, just like I have here. You want to go over to Google Chrome, and you want to type in Curse Forge, just like that. And this link right here, download Curse Forge. You want to download Standalone. That should download right there. You want to run this so that you can download Curse Forge. I already have it, so I'm not going to. Just gonna put that away. I'm gonna open Curse Forge. It should take just a second. And there we go. So, if you have Minecraft installed on your computer, it'll show up on the left-hand side of your screen, just like that. Minecraft. If not, you can click on the plus, scan your computer for games, or manually add Minecraft yourself. But it should show up automatically. Then you want to head on over to Create Custom Profile. And you want to give it a name like Shaders, just like that. You want to select 1.20.4 because Shaders isn't out for the latest version of Minecraft yet. This is what you get, 1.20.4. You don't touch anything else, that's it. Just click Create. Click on the Shaders button. Go to over to the little puzzle button here, Add More Content. Click on that. And you should get an entire list of different shader packs. Uh, th th these are all great, some of these are really nice, but I personally prefer the complimentary shaders Unbound. So I'm just going to install that one. You can install any other one you want, uh, this is just my preference. And there we go, it's right there, under shaders. Then, th this isn't enough, you're going to need to go back to Google. You want to type in Optifine 1.20.4, just like so. And the first link is what you're looking for. It should be like this. Minecraft 1.20.4. I'm going to download that. It'll take you to an ads page. Just give it a second. You want to click on skip. And you want to click download. It should take a second. We'll download it. Just like so. Done. Okay. So now we have Optifine. Now, in your, in your Curse Forge page, just like this, uh, like I've shown you here, you want to head on over to the three dots right next to Play. Click on that, click on Open Folder, and in this folder you'll see Mods, Shader Packs, and that. You just want to click on Mods, and you want to click and drag Optifine into here. And after you've done that, you can close that, and you can run the game. You can just press Play over here, it should automatically open Minecraft for you, just like so. And we'll give it a second, it'll boot up. Alright, so once Minecraft opens up, you'll get this page, and you just want to press play. You don't want to mess with this, you just click on play. I understand, just play. We'll take a second, download some stuff. You'll get a, um, a different loading screen than you usually will, because this is Curse Forge you're booting up Minecraft with. It's not regular Minecraft, so don't be alarmed by that. There we go. It should be a red screen like this. Um, word of caution, this will take a while. You just need to be patient. It'll take around three or four minutes, depending on your computer. For me, it loads up quite fast. Oh. Hope that isn't too loud. There we go. Sorry about that if that's loud for you. Uh, go to options. Let's, uh, change this so we can see better. Anyways, so in order to enable your shaders, as you can see, two mods are loaded. You want to head on over to Options, you want to click on Video Settings, and you want to click on Shaders, just like that. And you'll see Complementary Unbound. Select that, and it'll reload. And then you just want to, you can mess around with your settings over here, you can change render quality to whatever you want. Uh, I personally prefer to keep it at 1.5. Uh, let's go. And can start up a world, for example, just create a new world. You'll see that it has worked and is loaded perfectly fine. This is a really beautiful shader pack in my opinion. I prefer this over any other shader pack. It just makes the game look so much better. You'll see here in a second. As you can see, it's loaded up perfectly. Sun in the clouds. It's a beautiful shader pack. And you guys um, are able to follow the steps I've shown you in this video. I hope it was easy to understand. If you have any comments, any questions, uh, I'll be happy to answer them. And I'll see you guys a different time.